Der literarische Bestseller und weltweite Erfolg der Schwarm von Autor Frank Schätzing kommt in diesem Jahr in Folge einer Miniserie ins Fernsehen. Ab 22. Februar ist das Ding in der ZDF Mediathek abrufbar und ab 9. März im Free TV. Jedenfalls durfte ich den schwedischen Autor und Schauspieler Alexander Karim, der in der Schwarm die Figur des Dr. Johansson einnimmt, interviewen. Und mit diesem Interview wünsche ich euch jetzt viel Spaß. First of all, uh, thank you for taking the time for this interview. Thank you. In the swarm, you play the role of Dr. I hope I um, uh, taught this right, Sigur Johansson. What can you tell us about this character? Well, Sigur is a is a is a is a guy with a troubled past, and a few years ago he sort of fell out of the grace with the scientific community because he, through no fault of his own, sold out to big business, uh, Holstead Energy. And, uh, and uh, now he's sort of, he's lost the respect of his colleagues and more importantly, he's lost the respect for himself. And when this whole thing starts with all the, all, all the um, events of the show, Uh, Seeger sees an opportunity to perhaps redeem himself, uh, to be able to start respecting himself, really. Okay. Um, climate change is a big topic right now. What does it mean to you as an actor to take part in a project that might sharpen the audience's senses for this? Well, I think that a lot of projects that you do um, are, are about Pure, purely about entertainment. Uh, and so to be able to do a project that, um, that won't only be discussed in film and TV forums, but also might be discussed, that would be the goal of something like this, for it to be discussed by people outside of TV and film, for it to be discussed in, you know, in a scientific journal, a marine biologist's weekly, you know what I mean? Like to have that sort of, resonance and to actually start a debate about something that's uh that's uh, very important to everybody uh that would be the uh the ultimate goal or the ultimate win for a show like this yeah i think so too um hand on heart did you ever uh, read the original novel or just in the screenplay <laughs> why are you putting me on the spot man <laughs> i thought we were friends <laughs> No, I, I, uh, I never read the book, to be honest. I never read the book, but I'm very I, excited for the last five episodes because I I, uh, um, I had the chance to watch the three first episodes and it's um, awesome until now. Uh, I can't wait for the rest. Thank you very much. No, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've, I've done a lot of... Um, Uh, this is where it started. I'm a writer, so I write novels myself. And my one of my novels is is uh, my first novel is is being adapted right now for a TV show. And one of the things that I've learned over the years is that there's such a huge difference between a novel and what actually ends up on the screen. That if I, because I've been in a few films that have been adapted, uh, that there's only disappointment to be had. <laughs> especially with a novel of this magnitude, um, that you read it and you see all these different cool scenes that you want to put in and you start emailing the director saying, please, let me just say those, that, let me do that scene. It just becomes, so I wanted to approach this. And also when I talked to Frank Dolger the first time, he said, you know what, it, this might be a project where you approach it fresh and just read the, uh, the script. To my defense, in my defense, I had tried to get the novel for a month and a half first, and I only found it in German. And then when I finally found it in English, that's when I started realizing that, well, you know what? I'm just going to read, keep reading the script over and over and over again and trying to approach it from there. Yeah, okay. And um, now I have some questions apart from the swarm. What's your personal favorite movie? Ever? Yeah. I mean, The Godfather Part Two. I'm, I'm really boring when it comes to uh, my favorite movies. But but yeah, Godfather 2, Raging Bull, anything from like this, like all those movies that, that came out of the that generation of Hollywood um, 60s and 70s, the Coppolas, the Spielbergs, the Scorseses, and you know what I mean? Like all those hard-hitting 
Mean Streets, all those films I love. Um, uh, yeah, but if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with Godfather Part Two. Cool. <laughs> and apart from that, it would be Back to the Future Part Two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like That's it too. Great, great movie. <laughs> yes. Um, which is your favorite band? Musical band? Yes, yes, musical band. My kids would laugh because they know that I'm a music dyslectic. I don't know anything about music. I mean, I play music and I sing, but I don't know any bands. But I would, I would say my favorite band of all time. I mean, the the the, the person I've listened to the most would probably be, probably be Michael Jackson. That's the. I'll put it to you this way: the only concert I've ever been to, I, I've been to two concerts. One with a Swedish artist called Timbuktu. But the only concert that I've actually paid money and gone to see a concert was Michael Jackson, 1987. Awesome, awesome. Um, if you had one wish, which film project would you most like to realize, no matter if original, sequel, remake or something? If I had one wish, which film project? Um, it would definitely be, I mean, the, the one wish that I had was write a novel, have it adapted for screen and then get to play the lead. And that's what I'm doing right now or what's happening right now. So I would, if I got to pick something else, um, I would love, oof, that's a hard one, man. I would yeah. love whatever it was, whatever it was, it, it would have to be, you know what? I'd like to play James Bond. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 That would be my <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, Marvel or DC? I don't, I'm gonna, I, I'll be punished for this answer. I, I will be punished. Neither. Okay. I have to, oh, but oh. again, if I have to choose one, because I don't know, don't know anything about them, but, but Superman was my childhood hero. Uh, so I would probably have to say DC. Okay. That's, That's DC, um, right? Superman. You already answered my next question because I wanted to ask which is your favorite character there. Um, yeah, it's 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 answer now. <laughs> I mean, okay. Black Panther is my favorite character now because he, he, Black Panther has done more for for me than than uh, than Superman has in, in in his day. But um, but yeah, Superman was my hero when I was a kid. Yeah, cool. I still have to watch Black Panther too. <laughs> well, I've <laughs> seen the okay, last question. Uh, what would you like to give the audience as a final piece of advice along the way? Um, wow, that's a tough one. Go, I, I'd love to get the audience to go. See, one of the biggest things that I love, the thing that I love the most about my job as an actor is, is every project that you have forces you to become a student of whatever that project is about. Uh, and that's my favorite part because I love studying. Uh, and to do the swarm, I really had to dive deep into marine biology and dive into uh, deep sea mining and, and the repercussions, the consequences um, uh, that are associated with it. And, and so I would, I would, I would I would leave them leave the audience and say study something go go learn. I hope this gets people to say I need to learn more about this. Okay, great. Um, yeah, that's all. Thanks a lot for your time. I wish you all the best and much uh, much success for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, man. So, das war's für heute. Ich danke dir fürs Einschalten. Lass mir gerne auch ein Abo da. Ich halte jetzt endlich die Klappe und bin raus.